The government's involvement in big tech censorship is one of the worst civil liberties violations I think this country has ever seen. When the Biden administration started to censor, you can actually see the impressions fall all the way back down to levels that were even below where I had basically any following. This was an action of the administrative state rather than the private action of the the social media companies. It's a clear First Amendment violation, and we have to stop it. If you start messing with the public square and ensuring or trying to decide what's true, and you are undermining the very process, the only process that we have to find truth. I'm on social media because I've always wanted to not just be a scientist, but a scientist that's also able to relate my ideas to the public. March 2020 happened, and I I had my own viewpoint as to what was going on when the COVID uh, pandemic hit. What I saw happening was a lot of collective hysteria, overreaction to the data, misunderstandings of the data. And it was his belief that COVID was not nearly as deadly as people thought and that the harms of lockdowns and other interventions were greater than the benefits. I became part of an early group of some of the early folks that were yelling about this. It was clear by 2021 that we were being censored for pushing back on the mainstream narrative. Changizi versus HHS is about the government's involvement in big tech censorship. While many people believed for a long time that this was uh, something that the tech companies were doing on their own, it turned out that the Biden administration was involved in coercing the tech companies or directing them uh, to censor people whose views differed from the government's when they voiced them on social media. What they were telling those third parties is, we don't want people like your clients talking. Shut them up. On Twitter alone, I have five different cases of permanent suspensions. Under the First Amendment, neither Congress nor the President could do this, and neither can the administrative agencies. We had to counter the narrative that people were doing this to benefit society. You know, an individual has a right to determine what's best for themselves. Um, the government does not get to make that decision for them. Jill works for Health Freedom Louisiana. They have been fighting mandates, especially vaccine mandates. Her organization was censored extensively on social media. We knew. We saw the writing on the wall very, very early on. This was, you know, October of 2020. You could not oppose any kind of government narrative. Missouri versus Biden uh, is a case brought by the attorneys general of Missouri and Louisiana along with NCLA. Two of the plaintiffs are Jay Bhattacharya, an epidemiologist at Stanford, and Martin Kuldorf, who was an epidemiologist at Harvard. They wrote a short treatise in October of 2020 called the Great Barrington Declaration, where they eschewed lockdowns, said that lockdowns were doing more harm than good. What's striking to me is that despite this diverse background, uh, we've come to an agreement about what the science is telling us. This is a science-based approach. There was a concerted effort to shut them down, and that effort happened at the behest of the Biden administration. In between Shangizi and, and Missouri v. Biden, more information came out about what the government did. It's a constant stream of direction from the government to every single one of these uh, social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, were working with the government to decide who to silence, what kind of post to silence, what kind of information to silence. Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook and Anthony Fauci uh, were exchanging phone numbers and having phone calls. Doctor, I strongly agree uh, that, that we need somewhat of a reset here. I'd like it to be the case that uh, there's a, 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 a strong moral slapdown in some sense of the behavior that's been going on. The culture has moved so far away from free speech that the government felt it could get away with it. The government cannot use private companies to accomplish what it can't do directly. That's a First Amendment violation. The governor's not my daddy. The president's not my daddy. They're not here to, to help me, you know, stay well from a virus. Their, their job is really to protect my rights. I'm hoping that uh, at some point uh, my voice is able to peek, you know, pierce the envelope that they've kept me in.